Good morning. Today is Thursday the 10th of December. Human Rights Day is observed every year on the 10th of December. On this day in 1948, the United Nations General Assembly adopted the Universal Declaration of Human Rights. It was a milestone document that proclaims the human rights every human being is entitled to and was translated into over 500 languages. The theme for 2020 relates to the COVID pandemic and focuses on the need to build back better by putting human rights at the centre of the world's recovery efforts. So global goals create equal opportunities for all and inequalities, exclusion and discrimination is no more. As I read the summary of the original act, I thought about these rights and I thought how many of these rights I take for granted in my life here in Skipton. But this unfortunately is not the case for many. We hear of slave labour, forced marriages, people with no access to education, homelessness, unfair imprisonment, and the list goes on. Yet God created the world to live in communion with him. In his world, everyone will be treated justly, fairly and lovingly. Out of love, his great love for us, he sent his son Jesus Christ into the world to share his love and to show us the right way to live. The way to live that respects each individual life. A place where each person is valued, precious and loved. If we did things God's way, the Human Rights Act would not have been needed. Yet, what can we do to change anything? I read a story of a man whose life's goal was to change the world. He didn't do it because he started in the wrong place. The place to start should have been with him. If he had changed his views and attitudes, he would have influenced his family. His family, the community, the community, the town, and so on. Jesus came to earth to show us the way to live. One man, the Son of God, living the right way. He influenced the world then and continues to influence us now, over 2,000 years later. When we hear of people living in desperate situations or being badly treated, it can be overwhelming. What can we change? The change needs to start with ourselves. What motives drive our actions? What thoughts lay behind our words? Micah was a prophet in the Old Testament and he has good advice on how to live. Do what is right to other people, love being kind to others, and live humbly, obeying God. We can't change ourselves on our own, but God, through his Spirit, can transform us from the inside out. He can fill us with his love and power. And transformed, we can act out of love, speak words of support against injustice, give our weight to lobby governments for change, if we live Jesus's way. Now one individual may never be aware of the effects of their acts of love and kindness, yet the ripples will spread out. As we think of the rights of others, May we be challenged to do what is right to other people, to love being kind to others and live humbly and obey our God. Let us pray. 
Lord God, many people can be discriminated against, excluded and unequally treated. Challenge us to look at our attitudes, thoughts and actions. Forgive us for the times when we have got things wrong and fill us with the power of your love so we may think and act and speak in your way. Amen.